they transport it. Nice. Excellent. It's a Star Trek mug, and when you pour hot coffee in it, it transports it them. transports them to the other side, which if you've seen the show, it's real cool. Wait a minute. Uh, that's the yeah Shatner. One of them, will, well, the red one, will be dead. Oh no, that's um. Oh, that's, is that that's a horror? It's a oh, she's that's right. She was red. She's the only one who lived because Kirk dug her. Oh, he did something. First interracial kiss on television. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Direction of Corbin. <laughs> I'm Rick. Did you know that? That was the first interracial kiss on television. That's true. Yep. Well, well at least in America. America you know? television, uh, yeah. I don't know about the rest of the world. In terms of that stuff, people don't normally look at the rest of the world. Yeah. And their cinema. Yeah. Uh, so it's possible that... Speaking <laughs> of cinema... What? Are we doing a review? No. Oh, good. Did you watch something? Yep. Six things. Oh, well, let's uh, just do one. Okay. And I'll just agree with you. Okay. Today. Happy Halloween, by the way. Woo-wee! Because it's out. It's Spooky. I'm sad already. If you are actually... It's going to be over. If you are actually celebrating Halloween, please let us know. You know, a lot of you do not. Yeah. Um, but you should. It's lots of fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, but if you are, let us know if you are doing something. Especially if you're in India. I want to know what any kind of Halloween celebration looks like. Because obviously... I don't think you can do what we do here because yeah. everyone does it. Every house, it's like you're going to have candy. A yeah. lot are going to have decorations and people are going to dress up and come to your house and ask you for candy. Yep. Pretty standard. Unless and when you drive down neighborhood streets, loaded with little kids and their parents walking around. Everybody's in costume. It's pretty cool. Anyways, today we watched Ikti Dayan. <laughs> right? We did a movie review. Sorry. Ikti Dayan? Is that what it's Sounds called? Sounds right to me. Ikti Diane. Obviously, we saw the trailer for this. It's a 2013 Hindi romance thriller. Um, and it's directed by... Otherwise known as a horse. Uh, uh, Conan Iyer. And I totally forgot, and it just popped up, obviously, when it started. It was written by Vishal Bardwaj, produced by Vishal and his wife. And his wife. And, and composed then the music was Vishal by Bardwaj. Vishal. Uh, and I think, I was told, I think in the trailer, I think somebody said, like, he was originally supposed to be part of it like the director oh. but then there were some creative differences oh uh, which is weird because he's the producer yeah so it's I, like if there's creative differences fire whoever you hired and then hire yourself <laughs> you're kind of the boss yeah the producer. <laughs> so i don't know if that's true at all it might not be true uh, it also could have been he was just willing to let it go and he had other yeah. stuff he was working on but starring uh imran hashmi which is well, this is our first first time film around around of him. uh indian uh, colin farrell mm -hmm. uh and konkana sen sharma koki kaiklan and Huma Kureshi, which I had either forgotten or didn't know that Kalki was in it. Oh, you forgot? I totally forgot. She popped up. I'm like, hey, it's Kalki <laughs> Anyways, uh, but yeah, so this is, uh, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. Uh, come back. Uh, it, where did we see it? YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, we had to rent For it on, rent on YouTube. Uh, rent it on YouTube. It, was an, it might be available in India, some other place, but 100 spins for it. We came out in 2013. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. Come back. Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Initial thoughts were, I thought it was probably, probably the scariest of the ones we'd seen. Of the it's, horror films? Of the we, horror films yeah. we've seen. That's probably the one that had the most where the ambiance was scary in the stereotypical way you expect a horror film to be scary. Yeah. And I thought, all, all told... I enjoyed it. I didn't love it, yeah. but I liked it. So it's like I gave everything across the board. Like everything got a B for me. I didn't yeah. feel like there was anything uh, e extremely meritorious in any way, but there wasn't anything bad about it. Yeah. I just thought this is a this is a good Halloween movie to watch. Yeah, I agree with you on the definitely the scary part because obviously a lot of the ones we've seen aren't like in terms of um, American horror films. It's not the ones that we've seen aren't the stereotypical. No, and for. Forgive me if I'm forgetting the title of it. We just watched it. But the other one that I think is, is right up there with it was the one with the, the couple in the, the, the little farm and the cornfield around them. The Marathi film. Yes. Gotcha. Yeah. That one, I actually liked that movie more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah but yeah, the scary sure. level was 
they're pretty close yeah. in their scariness. Uh, I, yeah, I enjoyed but this. I like that one more. Yeah, I enjoyed this film as well. There were certain parts that I enjoyed a lot more, especially the scary parts. I thought they did the scary very, very- That was very, my favorite part. The very well in this film. I thought they Agreed. did it. Uh, like the suspense level of a lot of parts were really, really good. They had some really good jump scares. I, I thought the star in terms of acting was Konkana Sen Sharma. Yes. Uh, and I know she's like a, She's known for she's known for being a thespian, right? Uh, and so that makes by far she was my favorite. Yeah, uh, she, I thought she crew. did a fantastic job, as yeah. did Imran Hashmi. But he this was in a really world that he could shine in in terms of like showing what he could do. Not at all. Her and that's this, not his fault. Yeah, and her right. this was that role obviously right. that you can you're getting to be a, basically a demon, which is right. pretty fun. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I thought she did really well. This was I th I think I would describe this as if Bollywood did a horror film. Right, I agree. <laughs> there were and there were big Bollywood uh, masala film uh, elements to it that weren't my favorite parts of it. Those were the parts I wish weren't there. Yeah, like the romance aspect of it, you the way it works in a horror film, as far as I'm concerned, in my personal tastes, are bold, bold. That was a romance yeah, yeah. horror film. Did well. yeah. But the the musical numbers in the midst of this just seemed, and I know it's common for the genre, but it just pulls me out of it and I just didn't even enjoy them as much. Yeah, I think they, even though they were, it kind of reminded me, very different film, but also Vishal Bardosh, Satya, uh, in terms of how I enjoyed the song in it, like in terms of as, as a, a song, right? but like the, the song I'm talking about in Satya, was, it's like the number where they're just drinking and having a good time, but it's like a gangster killer <laughs> film. Right. Uh, and a great song in that, but I was like, that just, it, for me, it doesn't fit. It's like, no, it's like a song in Gangs of Wasserford. Exactly. Why like, would you do that? You shouldn't <laughs> decide, hey, let's put Godfather on Broadway and turn it into a musical. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the certain parts where it's like, you could tell this feels like a Bollywood film, like a stereotypical, like, this is just a masala Bollywood romance. Right. Agreed. Parts of it felt like that. Agreed. But I think the parts that it really excelled in. Were the scary, the scary parts. So it was a little cringy right out the gate. Yeah, it was. When it started, I, I thought I was nervous. Uh oh, so was I. And Johnny watched it with me, and we were both like, "Oh no." Okay, and thankfully, it, like, got, it got good. Basically, quick. when they when they made him go under, right, and they were doing that. Even though I don't like that trope of a film of like, "Here's what happens," and it, right, this whole thing. But I enjoyed that actual part of it. Like, I thought the kid did really well. I, I thought did the, too. the scary. Uh, moments and it lasted for a good hour. Yeah, I, I'd say right. Of yeah. the the flashback, the flashback sequence, and then the end. I thought was really good in terms of bringing in that scary element. I liked it. the twist. I didn't <clears throat> see the fact that he was a demon. Uh, what about his girlfriend? Do you see that? She I, was a I had a feeling that was yeah. gonna happen. Yeah, um, I liked the there's fact a, it was an interesting concept of there's good and bad demons. Yeah, and, and I like yeah. yeah the fact that there's in the, that there could be a good or bad demon that was like, oh, I never thought about there's, that. That's an interesting idea. There's a film uh, starring um, Paul Bentney, whom I love. Love. Uh, there's a film called Legion. Mm. Uh, I don't know if you ever saw it. But it was, I know of it. I've never seen it. It was a, like a, a, a B-list film, essentially. Like, it didn't do amazing or anything, but me and my wife saw it because we're major Paul Bentney fans. Um, but it's essentially like all these angels and demons are fighting and they're kind of taking over the world and because it's God sent them and the this, uh, the whole thing is basically God forgot that he loved them. <laughs> was this before or after Da Vinci Code? I think it was after. Okay. Because Da Vinci Code was a long time ago. Yeah, I know. But long he's, time ago. he's my favorite part of Da Vinci yeah. Code. Oh, yeah. Da Vinci I Code wanted amazing. more of him in Da Vinci uh, Code. But yeah, so the concept of like what is what is the relationship with demons and, and yeah. what are they? It's, it's obviously a, a, a thing, but I thought they actually did it quite well. I enjoyed the end and it was quite spooky. Yeah, uh, it was and nice. Like, it was like, ooh, the we're dark in, eyes. We're, we're in hell. We're right? in hell. <laughs> and she, she was, the kids were right. Yeah. Those are the people who used to live here. But and they like killed that little girl. I know. And they killed the dad. And I was like, holy shit. Yeah. And so like, it was like a, and I kind of looked into after this is this guy's first director. Oh, hats off, really? Yeah, it's, it's, I believe. Very well done. And I've also, he was in the film. I think he was the, he was called the, was he one of the, I thought he was in the film. And maybe am I, am I hallucinating here? I thought I saw him in the film. But anyways, I looked it up and um, like. So this was his first directorial. I think he's an actor mostly. Yeah, it says scientist and director. Huh. Um, so he had a cameo. But look, everything else before this was just either an actor or a writer, writer or an AD. And then he hasn't really done much since outside. He's got something in pre-production right now as a director and a writer. So 
it wouldn't surprise me maybe if he, he was a friend of a shawl. If a shawl's, yeah, I'm sure. Because if Jadal, I know, said, has done that in the past. He's like tries to give uh, people their uh, um, an opportunity. It wouldn't surprise me, and, and he very well may have set out to direct it and said, you know what, you can and you should, and I'll be there to guide I you. Because I think if Vishal did this film, it would be very different. I agree, and I don't think he would have put in those parts that. I don't that, think it would have been as Bollywood. Yeah, yeah. Because he doesn't. Stray. Maybe, maybe. Obviously, we're not totally familiar with Vishal. Maybe he would have put some of those things in. But from what the vibe we've gotten from him is like. Yeah, I think you would have just stuck to more of this. And it may have been a decision of, he very well may have said, I want you to do it because I think you'll do it this way and it'll be more commercially viable. Mm -hmm. And I'm producing it. I want to make sure we make the money on this thing as a yeah. commercially viable film for a broader audience. If I make it the way I want to make it, we'll probably lose some money on this thing because it's going to have a darker edge to it. Yeah. It's not going to be commercially viable. And I'd really like this to be... Yeah, especially for 2013, which yeah. is obviously before the OTT platforms have taken over. Exactly. It's still at the... A time where they're making Bollywood Bollywood films, so yeah. I actually commend them for, even though it, at times it felt like that. It's a nice try. In terms of scary, yeah. it's the scariest we've seen. Yeah, of, uh, for of a horror the, genre in in India. Yeah, it's if even though, like some of you may be surprised, some real good and scary. wondering like because there are moments in uh, I can't believe the name is escaping me right now. We watched it last year, The Tree Woman. The, Tumbad? Yes. Tumbad, yeah. Tumbad's got some scary yeah, ass yeah, scenes. Yeah, it does. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so I, I'd have to go but back But in terms of like stereotypical that. scary, like jump scares. Like right. In terms what of like, you expect for your standard like each, horror film. Each time he went to like the elevator, I was expecting something to like jump some out. Some real good jump scares. Which was fun. Yeah. And, yeah jump scares are a lot of fun. But let's talk about uh, Imran Hashmi. Obviously, yeah. people have been asking us to get to him for a long time. And obviously, we well, you know this is probably not the one that shows his thespian added muscles which exactly. I, I know he has because you can actually tell uh that because he's actually quite subtle in his acting he is he's reminded me quite a bit of uh like this isn't a movie you would tell people to see the illusionist yeah um my wife loves the illusionist yeah uh the, the not paul giamatti but the guy who is the illusionist uh, um, ed um, ed norton ed norton yeah that's not a movie you say if you want to see ed norton act go see the illusionist you don't. Yeah. But it's a really, really good movie. It's not like just bad in it. He does all. a very good job but, because of what he's given. But obviously there's other films that you could show him. That yeah, but that's that's muscles. the nature of the role. It's the nature of but what he's given. I'm excited, I feel the same way. I'm excited to actually that we finally got to him because obviously it's been a long time coming. And we will. I know Shanghai, I think, is one that's high in a lot of people's list. Once Upon a Time in Mumbai, I think, is another one that a lot of people say uh, is really good for him. Uh, but you can tell because he's, he's one of those actors that's... He's pretty natural. Yeah. Even though I, I know he looks like Colin Farrell. He very, actually reminds me of Colin Farrell. Very natural. I, don't, I didn't see any indicating. No. Um, I felt like he did what he needed to do. I really liked, and as far as the storyline, I liked the fact that he was becoming really paranoid. Mm -hmm. And people were wondering what was wrong with him. All the way to the point where he sees a waitress with a braid in her hair. And he's sure it's a witch and he's going to cut her braid off. Yeah. I thought that was great. Yeah. I believed he was freaking out. A hundred percent. Yeah. And so, yeah, I like... I mean, I'm encouraged. I'm, I'm glad, like, everybody wasn't like, oh, he's, he's a really good actor. And then we were like, eh, right, is he? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it. And I'm excited to see more of Me him. Too. And then you could tell that when he actually has those roles, he could probably deliver uh, the goods in terms of and espionage. Addict. it was interesting. We've been talking a lot about the roles we've seen Kalki in where she has tended to be the bad girl in, the, in these things. And in this one, she really actually wasn't the bad girl. Yeah, and you, they led you on. They led you on. That Good casting. Kulki is the devil. I right. Mean, is, there, is the demon or something. Um, and it, it really felt like it. I know. For a long time. And at the end, I was like, oh, sorry, Kulki. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't you. Uh, but, uh, yeah, obviously, Kulki did very well. Yeah, and, sure. And, 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 and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, once again, as I said in the beginning... I think the star in terms of acting was Concona. Concona, I agree. Well, she was so good. She had the best part. That's true. As you said at the beginning, she really had the best part. Uh, she really fits the uh, the role as uh, I. She just she was so believable all of the time when she's giving particular glances and that have double scary. meanings. Like she was scary. I you, love when her eyes just got all black. You can see like behind her eyes like is she good is she bad when it you was, were trying to figure it out it was also great in the very very beginning when they're walking down the beach and the woman walks by and you see the footprints in the sand that are backwards and Johnny said stop it let's pause it 
And I said, yeah, she said something you need to know. I said, what, that witches walk backwards with their feet and that they have braids in their hair that give them their power? She went, <laughs> we've seen a Wait, lot of, we've seen, <laughs> we've seen a lot of witch stuff. <laughs> Yeah, she's like, how did you know that? Man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Even during Halloween season so far, there's been like three Three films. or four films that have um, that very thing. You know, but the, what we haven't had till this one, mm. and I like this folklore, that once you've had sex with a witch, you'll never want to have sex with anybody else. That's why I am with my wife. She's a witch. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so I thought she did, uh, and we've seen her in a few roles, but they were a lot smaller roles. By the way, is that how the doctor died? Because that's a way, that's a great way to go. Because mm. when, when he finds him, oh, she was just... he's dead on the floor, and she had just said to him, when you have sex with a witch, you're never going to go back, and he's up against the hypnosis board, and then when he finds him, she's dead. Did he die that way? It's a, it's a hell of a way to go. The sex was that good, wasn't hell, it? Hell of a way that's to go. That's the way to go. Hell of a Here way lies go. Bob. <laughs> Yeah, and we've seen her in a few things, actually. Uh, but most of them were smaller roles. Correct. Uh, I think she was in Seven Kun Maf. She was in Omkara. She was in, uh, I think, something. I don't think there's anything we've seen Talbar. her in Talbar. Uh, definitely. Oh, she was the writer and director. Uh, oh, I totally Death forgot and the that. Gun, That's which right. I think was her first. Which, her first. That was which her is debut. what we said. We were like, we can tell like it's a, it's a newer director. Yeah. Um, I totally forgot that was her film. But I know I know her reputation, and I especially she's done stuff in Bengal, right? Uh, a lot, right? Yeah. Um, is she in the Japanese Wife? No, she's just special thanks in the Japanese Wife. Oh, but she did, remember that film that we just directed, The Rapist. She's she's the one in that. She's in that. She's in that one. Yeah. Okay. I know of like even though we've only seen her in smaller supporting roles, I she's she's known as like a thespian. It shows um, in this she, movie. She, she was she has great screen presence. And she did a phenomenal job at being innocent. Is she evil? Is she not evil? Yeah. And being real scary. And not being, it would have been really easy for a less experienced actress. And it's also a testament to the director, too, guiding everything. Mm -hmm. Some of her interactions with the little boy could have been creepy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And they weren't. Yeah. It could have been really inappropriately creepy, and they, they weren't. She's been actually in quite a bit that we've seen. Yeah. Now I'm going down. She's been even more um, that we've seen. So obviously let us know that she was apparently in Luck by Chance. I guess everyone oh, was wow. in Luck wow. Everybody chance. was in Luck by Chance. I'm going to go out the other door. <laughs> you can get out over there. <laughs> Sorry. Bless her heart. And uh, Johnny's trying to find a way to go to the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I'll help you if you need it. Uh, no. The other, this one here, sweetie. That door. Intermission. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Anyways, um, but yeah, so she, yeah, I thought she did really well. I'm excited to see more of her. So obviously, let us know what yeah. should be her next, especially if it's like what she's known for and like what's her best performance. Uh, please let us know that because I would love to see more from her. I thought the girlfriend did, especially towards the end when she was a demon. Right. I thought she did much better. Yeah, but she fell victim to I think some of the Bollywood writing in the beginning that I was like, ugh. This is not so good. Yeah. Uh, so it very well could have just been the the, the writing uh, because I, towards the beginning I got the same thing. I was like, ooh, this is cringy Bollywood writing. Yeah, the writing front here. part of it was surprising considering it was Vishal. Um, uh, I, I was like, oh, I'm get, this is a little. I wasn't expecting to feel some cringe here, and yeah. thankfully it dissipated pretty quick. Yes, it did. Yeah. Um, and once again, the songs I thought were good songs. Yeah, it's a shame. They're, it's just, they're I, good songs that I just don't feel like they fit in I the story. I would have rather them just stuck to the scary. Agreed. Uh, honestly. Uh, agreed, just like Bull Bull. Yeah. Just to end, well, pretty much everything we've seen. If you're in horror, just stick to just it. Just stick to the genre. Just, <laughs> just stick, stick to it. Stick to it. Yeah. I think, um, what film was, oh, it was Pizza, right? Where, uh, I was like, you can cut out the front part of the love interest and right. just do the do the stuff in the house. Um, it's it's not that bad in terms of like what I felt. Obviously, I enjoy, enjoyed this film, yeah, and I, there was a lot of parts that were really good. But I think you could have made it even snappier by by kind of almost cutting out the songs and, and all that, and kind of just sticking to the. Now, this is one of those that I wouldn't put on my list to like watch every Halloween. But if I had turned on Netflix and was looking for something to watch, and it was Halloween and I saw this. I'd be like, eh. Yeah. Or if it was on, I'd be like, oh, cool, let's watch this. Yeah. I it, liked it. And I thought the end sequence was actually really, really good. I in agree. In terms of like... It has a great climax. Great final 20 minutes. One in terms of like 
visual effects of it. Uh, I thought that it was it was real good. Yep. Um, yeah, and uh, you could <laughs> you could tell that they um, maybe put some of that money there at the end because obviously they were flying around. And, yes. <laughs> and doing all this this yeah. other stuff. And once again, that's not cheap. No. <laughs> so it's possible. It's just I would be so interested to know Vishal's role in this because he seems to be in control of everything, but he wasn't the director. And some of the dialogue just didn't seem like Vishal dialogue. Yeah. And it didn't seem like a Vishal film. Uh, it, well, maybe the, like this, the good scary parts, sure. But like... I think he can... I, it wouldn't surprise me if he had a concept of, here's our story, but we're going to take a story that if I did it the way I typically would, it's going to be pretty dark and not accessible to everybody. Mm. But we're going to make it more mainstream for these stars that are so well known. Mm. And here's how I can kind of tweak that and yeah. not feel like I'm violating my artistic sensitivities. Yeah. That would not surprise me. Yeah, absolutely not. Yeah. Um, obviously, we shall. Our dosed. Um, and I, I want to watch another one of his directorial. I do too, very it's much. It's been a long time. Very much. And he has a lot, and he actually has a Halloween one. I don't know if it, it was actually one of his first films. I think we saw a song from it, remember? About the, the brother and sister. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, um, I think it's just on Patreon because I think it was. Bought. And it was one. Of, isn't it? Is it his first film? It might or be one of his first, first. One of his first or his first. Um, so I don't know if that one, but I know that he has a couple others that are like um, the the Blue Umbrella is one that I think it's with Shahid's father, um, and I'm excited for his, his the new one, his next project. Yes. Uh, with it's with Ali, right? Oh yes. Um, and um, Tabu. from from Ali Faisal from yeah, uh, our dost. Yes. Uh, and Taboo, of course. Yes. Um, and then he's also producing that dog one with his kid. Right. Uh, yeah. So that'll be cool. And then hopefully he comes out with another Shakespeare one. That's well, I'm, that's, yes. I'm hoping so. We <laughs> believe that is the case. Uh, but once again, let us know what you thought about this film uh, down below. Uh, and for obviously Kulki, obviously she's in a, like, I think she's in everything. I think that if I'm not mistaken... There's only been one performance where I, I wasn't really thrilled. Deb D. That's it. Yeah. And even then, first of all, it's how weird. old was she? Yeah, but also it was weird because it was Anurag. Right. It was so weird. It was that, very strange. That, that the writing But it was, was the a... only one of hers I've watched where I thought, eh, it wasn't bad, but it just wasn't. Yeah. Me. I, yeah, I agree. Yeah. But obviously, but great. Imran Hashmi, please let us know what yeah, his next should be. Yeah, want to know more about uh, him and And, her. of course, Konkanas and Sharma. Yep. Uh, please let us know. I know she's doing stuff, stuff in Bengal and Bollywood as well. So let us know that. And this is our last film of uh, Spooky Month. Um, and yeah. uh, I enjoyed it for the most part. I uh, do too. Next year, I don't know if we'll do a full month because obviously there's a limited number of scary films in India. Well, it's hopefully, a, it's we'll a, get new releases yeah, that are scary. It's a small pool, so maybe we'll just do like two or three towards Toward the end. end of Halloween. Like I, Halloween week. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know because obviously there's it's not a huge pool to pull from. Like Romance Month, there's a, a kerjillion <laughs> yeah. in classics. That there's just you know what we could do? We could completely reverse it. We could recommend some horror films that we know from here and then have some stupid babies review them. Mm -hmm. Like, um, Thugs of Hiroshima. Scary. Don't watch it. I haven't seen it, but I hear it's bad. <laughs> <laughs>